This video isn't going to be about choosing colors because to be completely honest, I don't even know how I choose colors. I just kind of go with whatever I think looks good. This is going to be more about how to color kind of or techniques or you know, whatever, whatever. You'll see what I mean. If you watch a lot of speed paints, you've probably seen some artists work on a canvas that is a darker color such as this kind of blue color, maybe purple. They all have their preferences, right? And you might wonder like, why are they using this color as a whole canvas? Or you've seen artists such as myself first coloring in something with a darker color that's obviously not supposed to be the skin color. And then they eventually fill it into the actual skin color. And if you're wondering why they do that, here is why. So I'm gonna go with my technique right now because this is what I use. If I color it in first with a blue color, a darker blue color, or whatever color I choose, it's easier for me to see the spaces that I missed. Because I use the paint bucket tool for coloring because I'm super lazy. Sometimes there's corners and little spaces that don't really get filled in. So if I use a darker color first, I can see all the spaces that I miss and then go back with the brush tool and fill all of that in. So the other technique does the exact same thing, just a little differently, which is you have the whole canvas filled in first and then you can go with the light colors that you're gonna use and it's easier to see the spaces that you missed. See, there's like corners. It's a little harder for me to see like this because I usually work with like a dark line art first, so it's a little harder. Maybe if I change the color, let me see. If I, uh, yep. See, now that the canvas is a little lighter, I can see the spaces that I missed with the paint bucket tool. I can go back in and fill that all in. Ah, oh, there we go. So they both do the same thing, which is help you figure out the spaces that you missed if you use a paint bucket tool. Um, speaking of the paint bucket tool, by default, the expand will be zero up here, right over here. So when I, yeah, <laughs> notice how when I use it, there's kind of just like an outline around everything and it looks really bad. If you want to fix this, just go to the expand button up here and there's four options, it's on zero, but if you put it to one, which I'm pretty sure it's what I have, it will turn out like this. It's, I can't really explain what it does. It's kind of self-explanatory, I guess. It expands one more pixel when you use it, right? So if I were to put it to three, which is the highest, it'll go even more, see how it kind of like led into the mouth area, which I, it can work, but it's kind of bleeding into everything. See, it went into his hair a little bit, went into corners that aren't supposed to be colored. So I go with, I'd go with number one. Number one is the best option, I think, in my opinion. So what other people do when they color is instead, they like to use the brush tool and using or being on a layer underneath the line art, of course, make sure to lock your line art so that you don't accidentally color on it. You can go with the brush tool and just kind of go over everything. And so this way you kind of know that you're not missing any spots because you're kind of getting everything in one go. And after you get everything, let me see, get all, that's all the skin that's showing, I think. Oh, missed a spot. Whoa. And then once everything is filled out, you can go back with the eraser tool and erase whatever is not supposed to be there. I've seen a lot of people color like this. I don't because I'm too lazy to do all of this. I've done it before and it's, you know, it's kind of like relaxing in a way. Just erasing stuff and slowly seeing your picture turn out the way you picture it to be. It's, it's really nice, but like I said, I'm way too lazy. Yeah, that's pretty much all I had planned for this video. It was, it's not really a how-to video, I guess. It's just kind of tips on coloring and why other artists use the kind of techniques that you might have seen in speed paints. But yeah, that's all I had. That's all I had. I'm not gonna... I want to make a video about picking colors because a lot of people are interested in that for whatever reason. I'm not... I'm not the person to talk about or I am not the person to talk to about picking colors. Have you... Ugh. Uh, maybe one day when I get more confident in how I choose colors then I'll make a video about it. But right now it's like... It's not really something I can talk about. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching this video and hopefully it taught you at least one new thing. <laughs> if you have any suggestions for future videos, whether it has to do with fire alpaca or just art in general, digital art, you can message me privately or comment on anything really and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, I'm done. Bye!